what is up um today i want to talk a little bit about nutrition in general we've talked a little bit about protein we've talked about hydration we've talked about um sleeping better we've talked about stressing less we've talked about how you're worthy you're worthy so today I want to talk a little bit about nutrition in general um, here in the United States we are one of the richest nations in the world but we are also one of the largest nations in the world and I'm not talking about the size of our backyards I'm talking about the size of our bellies we are one of the ob most obese nations. Um, we don't do physical activity. We don't walk to work. We don't ride our bikes like they do in Europe. We take the easy route. We drive. We want the closest parking spot. We will fight for the closest parking spot. Um, and we eat a lot out of convenience. So there's Whataburger, there's Chick-fil-A, there's McDonald's, there's In-N-Out Burger. Wherever you live, there's some fast food. And the lines are long. The prices are getting more expensive. But yet and still, we go to these places and eat this processed food over and over throughout the week. And then we wonder why we're sick. We wonder why we don't feel well, why we don't sleep well, why our clothes don't fit. We don't understand why we are bloated, but we don't think about what we're putting in our mouths, what we're putting in our temple each day. So even if it's so small of a change as cooking your food at home, rather than buying that burger at the store where it's made, we don't see what they've done to make it. We don't see what things they've put in it. We don't see all of the things that go on behind the closed doors of the production of the food. Um, so rather than buying that burger, if we would make that burger at home, we would save calories, even if we're eating the same exact thing. Now, instead of having french fries to go with it, we're having vegetables to go with it. And yes, it might sound super weird to have a hamburger with broccoli. Doesn't make any sense, but it's so much better for you. And maybe you have sweet potatoes instead of white potatoes in the form of french fries. Um, you have sweet potatoes instead. Even if you have sweet potato fries, it's making these small changes that will bring about big changes in your life, in your waist size, on the scale. Now, the scale is not the end all be all because sometimes we are gaining muscle when we're working out um, and muscle has its own weight. So there's times when you've lost fat and you've picked up muscle. So the scale might not always be the truest measure of your size, but your clothes fit differently, you feel differently, you sleep differently, you're even breathing differently because you don't have that junk in your system anymore. Now, it's really important to make those changes and you know what they are. Like, if you really think about it, you know the things that you're eating aren't right. You know 
that your body deserves better, that your body needs better, then maybe you wouldn't feel so disgusting. But when you make those changes and add in a salad, when you make those changes and add in vegetables, when you make those changes and add in yogurt, your stomach might rebel a little bit at the beginning because it's not used to this. And we have what's called a microbiome in our stomachs, basically. And it's a bunch of bacteria, but it's good bacteria. And the bacteria have been receiving garbage for a really long time, causing there to be bad bacteria. Well, once you're finally feeding your body good things, it's kind of like, what is this? This is amazing, but what is this? So you may have some bloating, you may have some gas at first as your body is getting used to processing good things rather, rather than garbage things, but just push past it. I promise it will get better. Within a month, you will notice the difference and you will notice that the bloating and gas related to making the changes has stopped but it does take a little bit of time for your body to get used to it and to recognize the good things. And it causes more good bacteria and gets rid of the bad bacteria, which is really important. So it's okay to eat those blueberries and the peppers, you know, green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, instead of the other things that you've been eating just realize that at first, sometimes your body is a little bit confused. Not that it's angry, but it's a little bit confused. Like, what is this? This is amazing for me, but I don't know what this foreign stuff is. So give yourself some time, give yourself some grace. Um, even if right now you're eating out three times a week, cutting back to just once a week, um, and again, just cooking more, meal prepping. Um, I'm about to actually go prep my meals for this week, making the meat so that when I get home in the evenings from work, all I have to do is put the vegetables, like steam the vegetables, or there's actually one vegetable that I'm making because it goes on a pan and it's just roasted vegetables in a pan. So I, all I have to do is heat those up for like 45 seconds when I get home. But I'm just trying to make it easy. Have some salad on hand, have some steamed vegetables on hand, and then I can throw that in with whatever meat you like, whatever, um, or if you don't eat meat, whatever beans or um, whatever tofu that you have that you're using instead of meat. Um, just to make your life easy and to not make it a, a guess come six o'clock. You know, you're getting off work. You're like, oh no, what am I going to have for dinner? Well, I already know that I have chicken in the fridge and I have salmon in the fridge at home. And all I've got to do is whip up some veggies and it's going to be super simple and it's done. And I've already paid for it. So rather than going grocery shopping and then not eating any of the food that you've purchased and just letting it sit and wilt and all the gross things in your fridge, actually using it and having great meals that include a little bit of carbs, that include your protein that you need, and that include the veggies that your body so desires to be successful, to be an efficient temple. In order for your body to work well, you have to put good things into it. You don't go and get the cheapest oil that you can to do your oil change. You get good quality stuff because you don't want to put junk in your car or else it won't run well. Well, it's the same with our body. You know, you don't go to the sporting goods store and get the cheapest golf clubs or get the cheapest pickleball racket, whatever the things. Sometimes you do because you just got to do what you got to do. 
And that's fast food, right? That's what we do. But then there are really times when you invest well in the products that you purchase because you want to perform well. Well, it's the same with your food. You don't buy the 75% lean meat. Like that means it's bad. You go and you get the 90 or 93% lean meat because it's better. Just like you put better gas in your car when you have certain types of cars because it doesn't allow for you to put in low octane fuel because it voids out your warranty. Well, guess what? You're gonna void out the warranty of this vehicle, your body, if you keep putting crap in it. So today my challenge for you is to cut out some of that fast food, some of your processed foods and cook those things at home. Even if you're making the same exact thing, it's going to be so much better when you make it versus when they make it as far as calories, fat, all of the things that are bad for you, it will be improved. Even if it's just a little bit, make those changes. Your body will thank you.